copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one what you're going to see is police pull over a motorcyclist tries to get him to self-incriminate but the motorcyclist is a little bit too clever for that plus he's got a camera on his helmet and the copper starts to back pedal but let's just get straight into it and break it down What's going on here then? Hello. You okay there, pal? You alright, mate? Yeah, well, You're recording there. Yeah, so I so was recording on driving you. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? You okay? Um, yeah. I've seen you coming out of Station Road. Yeah. Onto Station Road. I take it you're warming your tyres up. Yeah, it's just your new tyres. I do. Yeah, have you have a look? Have you got the bobbly bits on? Yeah, so they're still brand new. How long does it take to warm them up then? Because we're still doing it down here. Oh, I was, well, this should come from, I only live in So this is pulled out, so I'm just trying to get a bit of the wear. When you turn left out of Station Road. So this is a tactic of theirs. Try and make friendly conversation to get you to talk. And then they will ask you a question to try and uh, get you to self-incriminate. Most of the time they do that because they don't actually have any evidence to to back up their claims. So in this case, he noticed the camera straight away. So he, he knows it's probably caught on on camera, his speed. But if he can get him to incriminate himself regardless, he would have to go to court, spend his time going to court, and then he would have to show his own video evidence prove his innocence rather than then prove his guilt. But this is why you don't really have friendly conversations with police officers when you get pulled over, let them do the job and then carry on. Following that road up towards the motorway, what's the speed limit there? Well, uh, I've been doing 30 all around here, so, yeah. Not along here, the bit between the traffic lights and the roundabout for the motorway junction. Can't remember which part you're on about, mate. Alright. Uh, right. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just being warm at the tyre, that's all. Safety, that's all, mate, because as you can see, it's wet, there's leaves on the road, there are hazard for you and all that sort of stuff. I just want you to off. No, no, you're alright, yeah. That's why I was recording, you know, because yeah, yeah. you never know people pull out on you and all sorts, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, as you've seen, he tried to get into self incriminate. This rider is too clever for that. He denied even knowing. Uh, knowing the road he's talking about well not denied it said he doesn't really know what he's talking about I do that all the time the roads somebody says this road and that road I'm not really from here I don't really know the names of the roads I just know the road but in this instant his den's gone said he's going more than the speed limit the riders denied it point blank he said oh you know it's just just to ask you to turn it down and then telling as a motorcyclist, we look out for grids, leaves, even grass cuttings on the road, bunches of that, plastic, all that sort of stuff as a rider is a danger to you on the road. So when you're riding, you are paying attention to all that sort of stuff. So we don't need, I don't know if this, this air constable here rides, but if he doesn't, we don't need somebody like that telling us, oh, you need to look out for this, you need to look out for that. We know, we know it's a risk. PC's this one. 1260. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's this last uh, ride out before I put it away for winter, in it. <laughs> so I was going to get some fuel, you know that fuel additive? So, oh, yeah, for storage. Well, nothing at all, mate, it's not done anything. Okay then, so, his reason for pulling him over is he's seen him driving fast. That's what he's trying to use as a reason for pulling him over right at the beginning. But did you hear what he just said on his radio? Nothing at all. He hasn't done anything. So he has contradicted himself twice, I know. So he's pulled him over for speeding, so that is doing something. But he said to his radio, he hasn't done anything. Is that because they want to get a film crew there immediately? ASAP? I don't know, what is it? Catching Britain speeders, uh, police interceptors, what is it? <laughs> what is the reason for it? Well, nothing at all, mate, he's not done anything. Well, nothing at all, mate, he's not done anything. Hello? Yeah. 
yeah. No, no worries. Are you by yourself, is it? Yeah. 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 All right. No worries. <laughs> no. I thought, you know, they, they like, what they're going to do, send an extra squad car for you or something. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. No worries. All right. No. Is that all right then? Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. No. It's just the last ride out and then, you know, I'm going to get some uh, fuel additive for it. You're stopping quite a few. You're not the first. You won't be the last. Yeah. That time of year and it's awful. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just be careful. It's nice. Yeah. All right. Cheers, pal. <laughs> Enjoy it. Cheers. Well, that was a bit of a bit of a random one, wasn't it? It's like, mate, I, this is what the. So that was that interaction. I believe this was just a fishing expedition to see if they could get him to incriminate himself on something he didn't do. The minute they realised he had his camera on, he sort of backpedalled, but then still try to get him to admit to something he didn't do. Now, in my eyes, this is just the police going out on a fishing expedition trying to get some extra tickets for themselves because you heard him admit he's done nothing but yet yeah, still try to get him to admit to speeding. And it didn't work. Thank God for that, it didn't work. And I've had the same. I've had the same situation on my bike. I got pulled over, accused of doing seventy on a thirty road. The now doing seventy on a thirty is that that's a loss of license immediately, right? So if this uh, traffic cop truly believed I was doing seventy, why is he just giving me words of advice? It's because he noticed my camera. He noticed it was recording, and he knew full well. He couldn't prove that I was doing that and the fact that my camera would have captured it all so he gave me words of advice. And what is the point? He was just trying to flex his muscles in my opinion and that's the same thing in this in this incident. He's been pulled over for nothing to give him words of advice on the road conditions and how he should be riding and to be careful. A load of nonsense, just a waste of his time. But like I said, this is just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does help in YouTube's algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.